Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Macho Miracle here, aka Dyson, and welcome to a good old commentary over some Doom closed beta gameplay. The the Doom beta was really fun and all that good stuff. So I have a bunch of gameplays that I'm gonna be showing you guys for some commentaries here in the future. Starting out with this one uh, and all that good stuff. Which, being this is a commentary, it will go into a playlist, which is what this commentary is about. The fact that I have now actually started to make playlists. <laughs> I haven't uh, done that yet. I mean, I have had playlists for myself that are like private for certain videos, but I was like, you know what? I should make playlists for my videos. Should have done this a long time ago. Never really found the time to do it. But now I'm making an interactive PDF like portfolio for my YouTube videos that will I will, of course, in the future expand upon and make the inter uh, change the uh, portfolio a little bit because that's what it's going to be. It's an interactive PDF, but it's a portfolio. Uh, it'll have certain playlists that are shown and you know stuff like that. Um, I might do all. I might show off all my playlists. I don't know yet. Depends on how big it makes the actual file size. That's why I'm starting with like three pages with like four playlists each because they're going to have like a little description below each of them, so people know uh, this is. It's good to have a portfolio. That is why I'm making one. Uh, and the reason I'm actually starting to make one now is because I <clears throat> have a class called Page Layout Software where we're learning how to use InDesign, which is the program I'll be making it in. But we have a portfolio project, and we didn't have to make a portfolio, we just had to make something that would be useful to us. Well, this is going to be very useful to me. It's something that not only will get my videos organized on my channel, because, you know, it's playlists, but also, I'm making a portfolio slash interactive PDF for myself that will also go up on a website so people can just look at it. But also, since it's a PDF, I can send it to people so they can look at it and uh, all that good stuff. And of course, I'm not going to do too many crazy things. So the PDF is actual, uh, like it's file size isn't huge so people can actually use it and do something with it. You know, actually look at it without the thing not even being able to open or like crashing or something like that so that's the that's the challenging thing because I want to do some cool stuff with it it'll take a little bit of time to make that's for sure but yeah I, I'm, I have to go in there and make it but not make it as cool as I would like I and see the thing is I might make two one for the website but I'm well and after I get the assignment done of course I might make another one that's for my website that I'm gonna put it on that is uh, as interactive as it could be, the one that has all the cool stuff. So, because on a website it would actually be able to work, you know, way better than being in a PDF form that you send to someone via email that they look at because they say they get the email and then they're going on the plane and the plane doesn't allow, doesn't have any Wi-Fi on or anything. Uh, they can still look at it and they can still mess with it since it is an interactive PDF. That's why I'm making that because I'm going to school for digital media, which is like photography and uh, videography and stuff like that. There's like a thousand, over a thousand different jobs I could get with this degree. And the reason I'm going into digital media, you know, it's there's there's parts about it that are fun, but there's parts of it that aren't fun. That's true for like everything ever. So. Um, well, things that won't be fun for me. It's probably different per person who's in digital media. Uh, but there's a lot of cool stuff. It's m more cool than it is anything else. Digital media is really cool because I'll get to take some classes on 3D animation and all kinds of other cool stuff, like and uh, other software classes. So my editing will improve, and my <laughs> and I can maybe make some animated things that would be really cool. Uh, I just probably need to upgrade my computer to do that. I need like a, I need a better graphics card, and then I can do that. And that would be pretty awesome. So I'm looking forward to learning those things. And, of course, a good thing to have is a portfolio of your stuff, especially if you're a graphics major in college. Um, like a graphics designer can have all the stuff that they've made, you know, designs and stuff, logos, backgrounds, banners, whatever they make have all that cool stuff. For me, it's going to be uh, videos for my on my YouTube channel. Uh, and then later on, I might add some other things to my portfolio, depending on you know what I actually make and participate in making, stuff like that. 
because uh, I don't really have any like photos to show off. I'm not the best photographer. Uh, I mean, photography's kind of fun. You know, I, I like aspects of it, but then again, I'm not the most patient person ever when it comes to technology uh, and things needing to work right. I can be patient with people um, because you know they they having a bad day, you know, who knows what's going on with them, but with technology, I just suspect it, it just needs to work, you know, it, it should just work, so my patience is not good, and trying to get the perfect photo can be very annoying, and I want, whenever I'm taking a picture, I want it to be good, of course, so the fact that I have to kind of mess with things and wait and do all this other stuff, and plus I'm not the best at it anyways, so... That adds on to how long it freaking takes to actually get a good picture, and it just turns into me getting very annoyed because man, man oh man, is it is it not fun? There's a there's YouTube videos that I've made that I wish could have actually came out because they were very good, but something messes up with the video, like it gets corrupted or part of it gets corrupted, and if part of it gets corrupted because it's like right in the middle, and I'm like, well. Or like part, like the good part will get messed up, like the the audio will, like the game audio or the voice audio gets messed up to where it's like robotic or like super quiet. Uh, now this is super rare that it happens, but of course it happens on like videos that I thought were freaking awesome. Like I had a whole lot of fun making, and I was like, oh, this will be this will be a fun video to upload later. <laughs> nope, technology says screw you, man. No, you're not. Uh, and I get frustrated with it because technology needs to be not sucky instead of sucky, like it sometimes is. But playlists, all kinds of playlists, commentaries, uh, like a commentary playlist. <clears throat> Let me look at some other ones I'm going to make. Haven't made them yet, I need to make more. There's going to be like, would you rather, because I'm going to make more would you rather videos. I have three or four right now. And then there's going to be like, and then there's going to be like a random playlist where I put anything that doesn't really fit into any of my other playlists. Uh, there's going to be a Wolfenstein, the New Order playlist, Haze, because I plan on continuing that, don't know when. There's going to be a Playtime um, playlist, you know, like the Playtimes with Dyson, Playtime with Talon, Playtime with Austin. Those will all go into a playlist. There's going to be a Trials playlist of all the Trials videos that Talon has done. Uh, my 48 hour live stream, that's going to be its own playlist. Uh, live streams in general. All the other live streams are going into the live streams playlist. And then I have a whole bunch of other ones. I got a Mad Libs playlist, a Macho's Top 5 that I need to actually continue. The Hunt, which I also need to continue. I'm going to have a Vlogs one. I'm going to have a Macho Life one, which is gonna, our vlogs, but separate from my other vlogs that I've made. Because sometimes I like to make a random vlog. Then I'm going to make some guide. Like I, there's there's some guides that I've made, like achievement trophy guides, stuff like that. So that'll be a playlist. Uh, ping pong for me and Talon. There's gonna be a one v one playlist for all the one v ones my little brother and I have done. And then there's gonna be all the other one v ones will go. Uh, I can't decide if it's gonna be a separate playlist or in the one v one playlist that I'm making for me and Talon. <clears throat> I'm just gonna probably put them all in, in one playlist. <clears throat> Excuse me, jeez. Then I have Force Free to Play Fridays. I have so many of those. And then, like, the, you know, if I've played a game, basically, a whole, like, I have a whole bunch of videos of one game, like, played through a campaign, that's a playlist right there. It's gonna be, uh, what else do I have? Like, okay, I already have, I already have Mad, Mad Libs written down twice with the fudge. Then, I, of course, I have the Madden videos I'm gonna do, all that good stuff. Man, I have so many. Just expect a whole bunch, because there's gonna be a whole lot of them. A whole lot of good ones. And all that good stuff. Uh, some aren't very good, some are. But that's okay. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope you guys enjoyed the Doom gameplay and the commentary. You guys have an amazing rest of your day. And toodaloo!